My name is Ms. Keon, and I'm here to discuss the career education program at Burnaby Central. In this presentation, I'm going to be walking you through the differences between 30 and 80 hour work experience, highlighting some of the industry training programs that exist in Burnaby, and highlighting uh, an apprenticeship scholarship that's available for people who are in the trade programs right now. So under the umbrella of career education, the Ministry of Education requires that every student take three courses. The first of which is Career Life Education, or CLE 10. You must pass this course in order to graduate, and you must also get 80% on their WorkSafe test. Another two courses that you have to take are CLC 11 and 12. They're two credit courses um, and that require that you complete 30 hours of work experience. In grade 12, you'll be doing a capstone project and a capstone presentation as well. So what is work experience? Well, it's something that occurs when a student works outside of our school community in order to gain valuable skills, develop positive relationships and gain valuable experience. This is contrasted with uh, work that you do within the school. For those of you who are volunteering or managing a team or volunteering in clubs, that counts as service hours, and that's different than work experience. You must be 15 years of age in order for your hours of uh, volunteering to count. And again, you must get 80% on that WorkSafe test. So what is the, the main difference between 30 and 80 hours? Well, 30 hours is required. It's the minimum required for you to graduate, and it's part of your CLC course. Um, I will not be finding you jobs, just so we're clear on that. I will provide you with opportunities on our website, but it is up to you to uh, make those connections and find that job. It can be either a paid job or a volunteer job. And there are official and unofficial hours. So let's say you found a job and it's in a career area that you're interested in. You may want to come and come down to my office and say, hey, Ms. Keon, I got this awesome job at a bank. Can you please do up some paperwork so I can make those official hours? So as long as I do up paperwork before you go out on work experience, I could potentially later count them towards your work experience 80 hour courses. And I'll explain what that is now. So the 80 hour work experience is a four credit elective course. It's not required. Um, it can also count as an ADST course, which you need one of to graduate. The 80 hour elective course also satisfies the 30 hour requirement. And I place you on work experience. So if you're one of those people who, you know, is a little apprehensive about finding your own job and want some help, I would select the 80 hour work experience option. So you'll get two placements provided for you in the area of your choice. These placements usually take place outside of school hours. They um, also provide your application to colleges and universities with added dimension. It's not just you doing paperwork. You've actually gone out and experienced and made connections and showed that you could do it. So that's a really good thing. So what are the benefits of taking the 80 hour work experience elective? Well, again, hands on learning. You get to experience it rather than just read about it. There are no tests or homework, so you get a lighter academic load. It gives you the possibility of a study block in grade 12. You have the possibility of a high mark if you're a model employee. So if you show up on time, dress appropriately, uh, hand in all your paperwork on time and show initiative, you tend to get it in the high 90s for sure. This could translate into a paid job, which a lot of students have managed to do, which is great. You get to learn a specific skill in a job, so you get to actually try it out before you commit to a four-year university course. Uh, you get two employer evaluations, and you get to build your network and gain potential references. Employers and universities really do prefer, uh, sorry, prefer people with experience. And what I do is I create two separate teams, one team for uh, grade 11s and one for grade 12s. 
and anything that comes across my desk, I post on Teams and you get first crack at it before anybody else. So um, any open houses, any jobs, any volunteer opportunities, it goes on Teams and you get to opt in. Um, so that's a definite benefit and that's only for people in the LUX program. So how does it work? Well, um, you're doing course selection right now. That's why you're watching this. So if you're currently in grade 10 going into grade 11, you would select WEX 11 on your course selection. And it is a two year course. So you would need to select WEX 12 next year as well. Then um, over the summer uh, and into grade 11, you would complete your first 40 hour work experience. And then in grade 12, you would do another 40 hour work experience. And I tend to try to make them happen over the winter or spring break. Um, summer is also a great time to do those work experience opportunities. If you're currently in grade 11, going into grade 12, you would select WEX 12A and you can complete all 80 hours in one year. Uh, again, we could do it over the summer in grade 11. We could do one and then we could do another one 40 hours uh, sometime during the school year, during the winter or spring break. So you would select either WEX 11 or WEX 12 and then you'd select which focus you're interested in. So let's say you're an engineer, uh, you would collect, uh, select science or applied science. Or if you are a teacher, maybe you'd go into um, liberal arts and humanities. So you just try to fine tune that one. Next up, we're gonna get into the industry training opportunities. These are programs uh, that are location specific. Um, each school of the seven schools in our district has between one and three of these programs. And you apply to get into these programs and you would go there uh, for a specific time period. And then you come back to your home school for the remainder of that time. So for instance, if you apply to Caribou Hill, they have an auto service technician program where you learn how to become a mechanic. And so you would go there for semester one, uh, for periods one, two, three, and four. And then semester two, you would be back here at Central taking your regular courses. So um, there's lots of different programs and I'm just gonna highlight some of them. If you wanna investigate more, I'll show you a website um, that you can do that investigating on. So there's a Baker program at BCC, um, which is six months. There's a Carpenter program at Caribou Hill. There's a Cisco Networking Academy at Burnaby South. Uh, construction electrician program at Mountain that's super popular this year. Quite a few from Central are interested. There's a fitness instructor program at South. There's a film broadcast program at Burnaby North. A graphics and media art program at Burn Creek. And a hairstyling program at Alpha, which is a one and two year program. There's a health sciences program at Moscrop. Medical. <laughs> metal fabrication program at BCIT. That's pretty cool. The district will pay the $5,000 tuition for you to attend that. So amazing. Uh, there's a Microsoft Office Specialist Certification program at Caribou. There's a music production technology program for those musicians in the house. That's at North. Uh, nobody I know has taken this one. It's brand new. It's a painter and decorator program. And that's at the Finishing Trades Institute in Surrey. There's a Palo Alto Cybersecurity Academy at Caribou Hill. Uh, there's a plumber program, which is a six week program from June to August. There's a professional cook program right here at Burnaby Central. So if you're um, not excited about going to uh, another school every day, you may wanna just become a chef and learn how to become a chef here with our chef. Um, it's an amazing program. You've seen the lineups, you know the food is good and you would help create that food. There's also the robotics program or the mechatronics at Alpha. And the last one is tourism and event management at Burnaby Mountain. So those are all the industry training programs in our school district. You would apply. Uh, we're taking applications right now. The plumber program is actually interviewing February 14th that week. And then the rest of the interviews will take place after March 31st. So, um, we have a website at our school that I sort of maintain. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. 
And just give me a second. Okay. So this is um, our school website. And you would go to the career education website and it will take you to my web page, hopefully. Let me get that out of the way. Um, so on the front page, this is how you can contact me. This is my phone number. This is my email address. And if you want to book an appointment with me, I'm currently doing virtual appointments until Omicron calms down. <laughs> so you would just click on uh, this link and it takes you to um, this website and you would pick a 15 minute meeting with me and then you get to pick whatever time you want. Um, there's flat, you can do it during flex, lunch, whatever. I also meet with people after school um, and then you add your details and then you book and it will send you a confirmation and a link so that you can attend the meeting with me. So it's pretty easy. You can also cancel pretty easily and rebook. Um, so that's an option for you. So that is sort of how you can meet me. All the stuff I'm talking to you about, about 30 or 80 hours, I've summarized here for you as well. This is where the 30 hour work experience uh, opportunities are over there. So currently, just to give you some examples, SFU is hiring for the summer. They're looking for people for the camp and you can get all the information here. Pedalheads is hiring for March break. So there's links here. So there's lots of different opportunities here. Um, so you can have a look and see what, you know, if you feel comfortable finding it on your own. If not, you may want to apply for the 80 hour work experience and I will help you find that. In terms of the industry training, um, this is the tab. You can come and fill out the application here. You just click on that link and it will take you to the application. And you can fill that out and send it to me or drop it off outside my office. And then you can head on down here and these are all the different tabs. So let's say you wanted to do uh, electrician. Um, construction electrician. You just click on it. It takes you to our district's uh, website. You can watch a little video and uh, Bob's your uncle. There you go. Okay, so um, I also have open houses on here. There's some forms. Let's say you have completed your 30 hours of work experience. Uh, you can download the forms here and if you're great in grade uh, 12 or grade 11, you can click these forms and fill it in and submit it to me. And that's how you get credit for your 30 hours of work experience. So um, that's pretty much the website. The last thing I kind of want to show you is this is Callum. Um, he was at our school a few years ago, pre COVID because there's no mask. And I just asked him to do a little clip of what he thought about our work experience program. And this is what he has to say. So Callum, Callum would you, you recommend, recommend career programs or work experience to high school students? Uh, yes, I definitely would recommend this course. I think it's a great opportunity, one, uh, to kind of lighten up your workload of being in school and, and always having homework. It's kind of like it jumps you out of that and it's kind of like a volunteer slash job opportunity, which is like just kind of getting you outside of school, but learning something still very valuable and still very relevant to obviously what you're interested in because you're choosing, you get to choose what kind of workplace or what kind of experience you want to go through. So it kind of gives you that aspect of another way of learning. And I think it's a really uh, tactical approach to learning an efficient approach to learning. And if you don't want to be, you know, always having a lot of homework and you feel like you have a lot of hard courses, this course might be great to kind of lighten your your courses up a little bit but still the way you're learning is very efficient and you're still doing work but it's very um you i i find that it's fun and it's very interesting and if you're if you like you know learning new things and you want to just try to do good for yourself in the future i think this is a great opportunity awesome mm -hmm. thank you so much yeah okay all right so um let me just close that up and the last slide I, I sort of want to share with you is um, just if you're currently enrolled in WEX 11, remember to select WEX 12 on your course selection form. I will only give you a mark at the end of grade 12. So you actually have to be enrolled in the course to get the credit. 
So for instance, if you're currently in grade 11 and you've completed your ADRs, but you don't take WEX 12, I can't give you credit, your four credits that you're, you're owed. So it's super important that you select WEX 12 on your course uh, selection form for this year. So that's it, that's it for me. Uh, again, that's all my contact information. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me um, and have a great day. Take care.